I see what old chaps and chaps, it's game chap and Bertie here. Yes! Yes indeed, fellows, and I dare say we are presenting here our top five lies of gaming. Yes indeed, what we think are the top five lies or rumours at the time within games. Now, shall we look at number five, chaps and chaps? Let's get straight into the action here. Yes indeed, for a long time back in the day, it was rumoured that you would unlock a certain couple of characters in a fighting game, Super Smash Bros. Melee on Nintendo GameCube. I have, of course, referring to Sonic and Tails, or so said the rumour. Right, okay, so this rumour said that Sonic and Tails could be unlocked in that game. That's right. Now, the proposed method of doing this was extremely difficult, as you supposedly had to defeat 20 fighting wireframes in the cruel melee mode. I see. Now, of course, in that mode there, with the, uh, the cruel battle, all the enemies are extremely strong, and you are very weak by comparison, which means just one or two hits can send you flying. So to defeat 20 fighting wireframes in that mode is extremely difficult. Well, it most certainly is, but nevertheless, loads and loads of people went all out at it, wearing their fingers down on the buttons, yes. trying to beat these things over and over and over again. So you went the rumour that you had to fight and defeat 20 of these nasty enemies. Now, actually, this later turned out to be an April Fool's Day joke from a British gaming publication. In other words, it was an absolute load of rubbish. Most certainly. So all those people had done what I just said, wearing their fingers down, etc., trying to get this thing to unlock, only to find out it was a lie. A lie. And a of course, lie. this was a rather hot rumour at the time, because Sonic and Tails were very sought-after characters in Smash Brothers back then. That yes. would have been huge. However, it wasn't all sad, because Sonic was eventually announced to be playable in Super Smash Brothers Brawl, to great fanfare, but he never was playable in Smash Brothers merely. He never was, so that's lie number five. That's right, of course. Moving on then to line number four, we come to a bit of a naughty one here, I think. It concerns the game's Tomb Raider, or Lara Croft Tomb Raider, and Dead or Alive Beach Volleyball, and apparently you could do something naughty in those games. Well, most certainly, yes, as you said, Lara Croft and Dead and Al or Alive, should I say. Now, both of those games, of course, are known for their large amounts of fan service, as it were, yes. depicting various girls and being very popular with the fans as a result. Uh, yes, that's right. Now, due to the popularity, of these games, it was only a matter of time before someone eventually proposed a special nude code for the games. Right, exactly. So this, the idea behind this was, if you did these certain things, you could supposedly unlock this feature, um, whereby, well, basically the girls would take the clothes off. Uh, that's right. That was the idea, of course. And uh, apparently this, uh, this, this quotes feature required a special code or a very difficult unlocking route in order to actually achieve it. However, sadly for those of you who play the games, you may be disappointed to learn that no such feature has ever existed in Tomb Raider or Dead or Alive, and, uh, well, the outfits are very skimpy, I suppose, but apart they... from that, there's no way of getting hold of a new code in those games. Ah, there's no way. Uh, did you try? Uh, did I? Of course not. Did you play the game? Uh, no, no, no. So I, how do you know about this? I just saw the screen. Oh, you saw the screen? Oh, so right, yes, yes. yes. I, I, I do my research, you know. Of course, yes. I, I mean, I don't. No, no, of course not. Right, anyway, okay. right, it was absolute rubbish for Dales. You can't get new codes in those games, so with that one suitably debunked, we can move on to number Number three here, which What's concerns that? for many years there was a rumour going around that it was possible for Link to obtain the legendary Triforce in Zelda Ocarina of Time on Nintendo 64. Yes indeed, very interesting one there having dealt with the uh, no nudes for the dudes, but yes certainly, Nintendo 64. Now since the item of course, the Triforce, was so sought after, once again there was a very complicated series of steps required in order to actually get hold of it. I see, so uh, a very elaborate hoax there set up, ranging from things like defeating the game with all 100 gold scale tillers and no deaths, to unfreezing the Zora's domain, would you believe? My word. Uh, to defeating Beast Ganon without the big Goron sword, what? and to even beating the Hyrule Field Runner in a race, and various other wild stories. Most certainly. So all of those things you had to do, actually defeating the runner, was another completely impossible task of its very own. Oh yes, so a little mini rumour of sorts as a bonus, indeed you could never beat the Hyrule Field Runner, no matter how fast you went. He was impossible to beat. So, a little bonus there on top yeah. of that. And as we were saying there, the Triforce also, once again, you can't get that in Ocarina of Time.
behind despite what all the rumours said back in that day, another load of lies. A big fat lie, despite the fact all those people tried all that time to do all those things and failed. That's right, and of course we are coming here to number two number now two. on our list, perhaps the most infamous rumour in recent times, I have to say, and that is of course of the dead brother of Notch, the creator of Minecraft. This spooky figure was known as Herobrine, that's right, he had white glowing eyes, he'd do things like build two by two tunnels and construct giant glowstone letters on your world. Most certainly. Now this of course is a big one and many of you may uh, know about this. Herobrine, a very nasty character. Now, variations of the rumour suggested he would only appear on the shortest render distance setting that he would tell you to stop or that he would grief your world and leave a path of destruction in his wake. Ah, I see, that's right. Now of course back in the day Herobrine caused quite a lot of concern among the player base because of course they wanted to know if Herobrine was in their world grieving them as well. Most certainly and a lot of reports came in saying I've actually seen Herobrine and all this. This was popping up all over the internet. I've seen Herobrine a real sighting, they call them sightings of Herobrine. That's right. And indeed people would even tweet Notch saying, look, is he real? What, what, is he in the game? And I think Mr. Notch at the time used to get rather upset. But it was a very yes. big thing. Herobrine in the game and people truly believed with all their heart that he was there. And indeed, as I remember, even Mojang would put uh, it jokingly uh, at the end of their updates, each update they did, Herobrine removed. That's right. But uh, sadly, fellas, despite how fun the rumour is, we have to admit that Herobrine is not really real after all. What? Are you sure? Uh, or is he? Uh, well, 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 they say he isn't anyway. Well, we, we, they we, haven't really sort of... We think he's not real. Well, some people have found him. Well, uh, um, um, it's time to move on, I look, think. Look, it was a lie, so we it, all know yes, that. Yes, it was, it was a lie. an absolute uh, lie. Uh, right, uh, right. then, Nefarios, our pick for the top gaming hoax of all time has to be the infamous rumour that it was possible to unlock Mario's brother Luigi in the 1996 game Super Mario 64. Most certainly, yes. On a serious note back here again, yes, this is a very interesting one, of course. Super Mario 64 back in that day was a real groundbreaking game and extremely popular. Yes, it was. And as you say there, there was the hoax there, or, or a rumour as it were at the time. Now, according to some tales found on the internet in the early 2000s, the mysterious star-shaped statue located in the boo-infested courtyard of Peach's Castle had a message on it which read, L is real 2041. Uh, yes, or L is real 2401. Now, whilst this was the subject of great debate at the time, with some users claiming it actually said Eternal Star, this nonetheless sparked a fiery search for the green-capped plumber. Indeed. Now, one apparent method involved collecting every single coin in the game, 2041 in total, ah. and having done so, Luigi would suddenly appear at that very statue. Uh, right, and then of course you could play as him, presumably. Yes, that, I think that was the idea. Ah. So this was a big rumour at the time, and people once again tried and tried and tried to do this and complete these tasks and things and try to get him to appear. And it was taken as a very serious thing at the time. It was big back in the day, it I, I very recall large. it. Sadly, these rumours were all false for Dales, despite a bounty being offered to prove Luigi's existence in the game. Some sources actually claim that Luigi was cut from the game by the developers at the last minute due to time constraints, and interestingly, a mod release much later also allowed Luigi to be playable in a way for the very first time in Super Mario 64, ah. but sadly, the rumour as it stood originally of L is real 2041 was nothing more than a big fat load of lies. Another big lie, and despite the fact you said there that someone actually offered money, a bounty to prove he was there? That's right, they did, and yet of course no one could take the bounty because he just didn't exist. My goodness me, so we've got five top five lies there. That's right, I have to say, which one is your favourite there, El Chero, those five lies? Um, well, I... I don't I, say the nude one. Well, I, I, what? Did I say I was going to say the nude well, one? Well, I don't know. I didn't say. How could that possibly be your favourite one? No, I didn't real? say that. I, I mean, oh, you know what I'm trying no, to say. No, I didn't say that. But anyway, right. I would think, I, I think Herobrine is a very popular one, and of course, for nostalgia, it has to be uh, Luigi, I think. Yes, Luigi, I have to say. Perhaps people thought he could jump higher and run faster than Mario, perhaps. Wouldn't I mean, it have been fun to find Luigi there if it really happened? That would have been fun. Of course, we did find Yoshi in that game, so it wasn't all so bad. I mean, if you go and play the game, 
and it actually does happen for you, let us know. We'll do a video on it for you. Uh, we certainly will. Uh, yes. <laughs> I don't think you're going to find a video there, Fanny. I don't think so. Also, uh, if you'll find that nude code, let us know as well. Uh, no, no, don't worry about that. That's all right. Uh, don't say that. I, I only meant for research purposes, of course. That's all I meant. Oh, all right. For, uh, yes. in the, you know, the interest of accuracy. Most um, certainly. Anyway, Fanny, this hasn't even Game Chef and Bertie here bring you the top five lies of gaming. Thank you, most kind of you joining us, I say. I'm going to call to see you once more on the next exciting article, I say. We do uh, indeed. And also, don't forget, oh. if you find another one, or if you think there's another one that's really, really good, post in the comments for everyone to have a look at. Well, indeed, I say. Uh, uh, until then. Yes, Yeah.